look at the school. Oh my gosh, that is a school of reds. There's hundreds of them. I can feel them grabbing, trying to steal a lure off him. Vibes are a style of lure that have really taken off in Australia, barramundi fishing. There's a couple of different techniques, retrieves to work these vibes. I'm gonna show you a way that works for my customers and it's a, the, the easiest way to be able to stay in touch with this lure as it sinks to the bottom, feeling the bottom, lifting the lure as it vibes up off the bottom and then free falls on its own. The bites come on the drop. So being able to feel those bites is key. Being able to be in touch with the bottom and know when you hit bottom, very, very important. When I make the cast, I shut the bale immediately once the lure has hit the water because quite often I get bites on the drop before ever retrieving this lure. So I wait for it to hit the bottom. Once it's hit the bottom, I keep the rod at about a 45 degree angle. This is very crucial to being able to feel the lure staying in touch with it on the drop and hitting the bottom. And also on the retrieve, not using the rod at all is key to learning how to use this lure. On a long cast, you can do either three or two cranks very fast, vibing the lure up off the bottom, stopping quickly, and letting the lure glide down on its own, not moving the rod. The lure's hit the bottom. Waiting it takes about three to four seconds for the lure to, to bump bottom. As that angle clo gets closer to the boat, that lure is gonna be suspended from the bottom and not able to glide down on its own. So once it gets closer and it takes a little bit longer than four seconds for that lure to hit the bottom, that's when I lift it up off the bottom, lower with the rod till it bumps, pick up my slack, lift the rod, lower with the sink rate of the lure, not allowing any slack line but trying not to slow the sink rate. One of the most perfect scenarios for vibing, and there's so many, is bridges. We've got many waterways around Florida, anywhere on the, on the coast of, of the US, intercoastal waterways, river systems, bridges, structure. We've got water moving through here, bait, predators waiting in the ambush. One of the most Common ways to fish artificials on a bridge is getting down current, casting up above the fish. They're usually fit, sitting in the current, looking, waiting for food to come, and they come and dart out of the, the shadows or out of the, the concrete structure to eat the bait fish or shrimp that are coming through. I make a cast up current, and I close my bail right away. That lure, the current is coming to me, so I might be picking up a little bit of slack if the current's fast and waiting for that for my line to, to stop like it's hit the bottom or a fish is bit. As soon as it hits the bottom, I'm gonna reel two or three times really quickly and pause. The rod has to be stationary for this to work effectively and pick up a bite. Keeping the rod at a 45 degree angle, keeping that line up off the water, waiting for that lure to hit bottom. It's in a great strike position. So while I'm waiting for that lure to glide down to the bottom and, and bump or get a bite, that rod is poised waiting. Don't move it an inch. This is my go-to technique for clients. When you do get a bite, I crank into the bite to come tight to speed up the process because it can be a belly in the line. So if I feel something, I'm gonna reel quickly to pull tight and then get the hooks in. It's a very different technique, and it can take a little bit of getting used to fishing these down the water. But once you get a few results, the confidence, you know, of what you know what you're doing works, and you quickly get dialed in on how to use these baits. I really enjoy fishing them.